On Google Earth, I saw this cave or alcove in the desert. It looked interesting to me, especially since this thing here looked like a door or window, like to some type of ruin. Nearby it, I saw what looked like a car. I wanted to see what all this was, especially this steep road that I haven't been on yet. So I packed my bags and head out on another adventure. Okay, this is probably the most crazy part right here. Thank you for watching this video. I love seeing the ancient and modern history in the American Southwest and beyond. So make sure to check out my other videos too. I hope you enjoyed this trip. I know I sure did. In order to get to the cave thing and the car, whatever that was, I began my adventure at elevation 5,075 feet. And at the very top of this road, it's 5,793 feet. It's about 718 feet total gain. It's 1.42 miles one way. It's a very rough, narrow, dirt road. And if I can help it, I'm not going to be walking that. No way. <laughs> Do you think it's possible to go up the Posse Road on an e-bike? <laughs> I kind of want to find out. Um, I know it's kind of a difficult trail, but I want to give it a shot. On my e-bike! With my jackets tied to the front. Let's try it. So far, so good. <laughs> First 100 feet. So far, still good. <laughs> My battery's gonna hate this though. Pushing it pretty hard. It's a thousand watt motor and I'm already doing 900 watts of power usage. It says 950, 960. Well, it got too rocky and I had to stop for a second and it's on a steep grade. Not right here, but back there. I'm waiting to get up this flatter spot to begin again. So, beautiful views though. All right, it's been going really slow. <laughs> We're actually doing pretty good. So since the bottom, I've gone down two ticks on my battery, which usually I can go really far on one tick. <laughs> but going straight uphill on a bunch of rocks, dirt, sand, obviously it's gonna be harder on the battery. But I have to go back there. And uh, oh, that's cool, that big kind of slant down there. So yeah, not too much farther. Oh, too rocky, hold on. So that's looking down, but I just came up. Huh. All right, canyon is closing up. My bike went down another tick in the battery, which is not surprising. The motor is really strong here. It's just these huge rocks that tires can't really navigate. can see how they built up this road right here, keeping it from sliding down. Really interesting area up here. I'm almost there. It's just over there, up by that cottonwood tree. So that cave, right? Uh, that's why I came up here? Whatever happened to that? Well, it turned out to be nothing. <laughs> it was just how the sandstone colors were. I was kind of disappointed, but I pressed on anyway. Up next, was that a car that I saw on Google Earth? Oh my gosh, there's a car down there. Probably put there on purpose, right? <laughs> oh, that's freaky. Yeah, there it is. Do you see it? Oh, wow.
And for fun, let's fly my drone to it. Seems to be missing a tire. Can anyone identify what kind of car this is? She's in pretty good condition. With a little bit of paint, she should be good to go. Oh, I'm almost at the top of this thing. Look how far I've come up. See that road way down there? That's where I started. Came all the way up this, and I have up until one a switchback right there. Okay, I'm almost to that switchback. This is pretty, pretty uh, bumpy here. Lots of rocks again. This whole thing has been rocks, pretty much starting down where you can't see the curve all the way up here, all the way up here. But I'm almost done. The end of the trail is just right up here. Okay, this is probably the most crazy parts right here. I can see all the scrapes from other cars, Jeeps and things coming through. Do you think my uh, Impala could make it through? I don't see why it couldn't. Okay, so this is cool. So I've heard about petroglyphs at the top of Posse's trail and I can see them, they're right there. So um, I'm gonna hike up there after this, after I get to the top. I made it, made it to the top of uh, Posse's trail. Uh, a little bit harder than I thought, of course. <laughs> it always is. Uh, E-bike did great though. Uh, there's only like maybe, I'm thinking about four or five spots where I had to walk a little ways to get over the just the really big um, rocks and things. And I just realized my helmet's still on. Um, so yeah, I'm at the top. I'm gonna check out this petroglyph panel over here and then I'm gonna go down. Okay, so I just looked over there and there's the petroglyphs that I saw from down there. But look right here, there's this big, big horn sheep. Big, big horn sheep right here. It doesn't look finished or very faded or what. That is probably the largest sheep I've ever seen. That's like four feet long. Probably stood right in this ledge carve that. What can you see? It's kind of a, my hand as a reference. Just huge. And bullet holes. Of course, there's always that. <laughs> These are really cool. What is that? So those look like um, feet, right? Hmm. Animal tracks? More animal tracks. Oh, I think I've seen that before in Nine Mile Canyon in um, central Utah. Big horn sheep, big horn sheep, Coco Pelly. Looks like usually there's a hunchback. Um, oh, look, this big horn sheep has strike marks through its snout. <laughs> look how big the petroglyphs are compared to my hand. These are crazy. Those are so smooth. Huh. Check this. Mark Wells. That's kind of it. It's really cool. Hear that? I think it's a raven call. So right when I got up here, these petroglyphs, these ravens just came out from the top and just started making those noises. Sorry, I'm probably in their space. So what do you think these mean? So these are overlooking this vast area below. There's a spring nearby because of all the cottonwood trees or at least a water source. So what does this mean? So one of my first times coming down here to this area, uh, I stopped at the gas station. I just kind of asked the cashier, I said, what are some fun trails to do in, uh, you know, like a Jeep or a truck or something? And she said, uh, there's this trail called the Posse's Trail. I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. You know, she's explaining about it and 
and it sounded interesting. And she said, at the very top, there's this petroglyph panel. So take a look, try to find it. And I said, okay. And that's always kind of been in the back of my mind until today. So we get to visit it. So we got to visit it. So that was pretty cool to see. A really fun show. I'm excited to go down this thing. But anyway, thanks for joining me. Hope you had a fun time on this adventure. Uh, this was fun. I love seeing those petroglyphs. And um, I'm gonna go down and get me some lunch. Well, as it normally goes, I just couldn't help myself. So I just picked a direction and started hiking, brought my drone, my camera, you know, went towards the cliffs on the other side to see what I could find. And I found something I did not expect. And this is what I want to show you next. Hidden underneath an alcove, I saw something with my drone. And this is what it was. These are pictographs, painted depictions of anthropomorphs or human-like figures, what looks like a star, handprints, and more. I could not believe it. These are so untouched and unvandalized, which is very rare. Do you remember the petroglyphs we saw earlier? They had some vandalism on them. This panel here has none of that, which leads me to think that this panel has been unnoticed for a very long time. So it's funny, um, I got an email from somebody and they said, you must have a big production crew, like who's who's doing your filming and things. And I was like, uh, it's just me. Like there's there's no film crew, there's no one editing my videos, it's, it's only me. So that kind of explains the poor quality in editing. If you're wondering why it's not so polished, it's because I'm just doing it all myself. <laughs> so uh, to answer your question, just me, unfortunately. <laughs> just kidding. But anyway, thanks for the question. 